Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm happy. Your bones crack from the last thing you Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your fellow neighborhood beard bastard. I go by the name of Super Nino. Welcome back to another reaction. So today they just dropped the trailer for the fifth entry in the Ghostbusters franchise. The movie had the title of Ghostbusters Firehouse, but it's now been revealed to actually be called Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, which will be releasing in 2014 this spring. I've been waiting for this. If you didn't know, your boy's been a Ghostbusters fan since he was six years old. I've seen all of them in theaters. Yes, I'm that old. Shut your mouth. Even the 2016 Ghostbusters. I went in there high hopes thinking, I love all the actors in here. This movie is going to be hilarious. And then I went out thinking that, God dang, I wasted so long. I wasted so long in my life waiting for another Ghostbusters movie. And this is what I got. Played all the games, every last one of the Ghostbusters games to ever release. You might guess that I'm a little excited. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And send me any requests if you have them. Okay, you're already starting out. This is good music. Mm. In my hometown. Not New York, New Jersey, because he said New Jersey. I'm not from New York. Oh, okay, that's not good. That's never good when a when a uh Happy Meal will what do they call those things? Well Ferris will stops. I mean that give me real real horror movie vibes. As Ghostbusters should. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you know they did. You know they did. Dang. <laughs> I love that piano uh, key. And that noise, that noise is just straight from my childhood. And Huh. Oh. Ah. Dang. Oh, this can't come fast enough. That's what she said. <laughs> no, she didn't. What? <laughs> I, I I love Paul Rudd in this. I love Paul Rudd in this. I heard a rumor back in the day, and I say back in the day, I mean like 10 years ago, um, that they were going to do a Ghostbusters reboot I don't know how true this is, and that Paul Rudd was supposed to play Peter Venkman. I can see that, you know. Down. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm happy. Why did I notice Bounty? I wonder if that has anything to do with the plot. It's the bounty right here. You know what I'm saying? Well, they do something with this bounty. Those are just good napkins or paper towels. Those are really good paper towels. I love bounty. Oh. Uh, hell yeah. I'm glad they brought everybody back. God damn. Is that that one bitch from us, Resident Evil? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. What I liked about it is I liked that it was giving me horror movie vibes like the first Ghostbusters, first Ghostbusters, first Ghostbusters. After the first Ghostbusters, and this is just my personal opinion, I feel like the horror element was um, taken away for a more friendlier cartoony element in the last ones. Because uh, the first movie just was really like a funny horror movie with no blood in it. It was a lot of scary scenes in it. The second and um, uh, I guess the reboot and then the third and didn't really have the horror elements like the other two. Afterlife did kind of have horror elements. It did kind of bring back that slight scariness. Um, 
but this one looks like it's going to take it to a whole new level and that's just my point of view if you have a different point of view let me know in the comments below uh, also i like that they're bringing back all the other cats looks like uh bill murray's back in here with his the hard to work with ass we love bill murray but look at what let's just be honest he's been known to be hard to work with and it's probably the reason why ghostbusters took so long to get sequels and we got ernie hudson um we got dan Aykroyd. looks like we got the returning cast of afterlife too bad about harold ramus got rest his soul but yeah this looks pretty good rick moranis is he still alive i don't want to say we need to get rick moranis and he's gone <laughs> he should be i haven't heard about rick moranis passing away i'm checking it i'm checking this right now checking this right now no he's only 70 years old he's only 70 years old man even if lewis totally pops up just for a second you got me you definitely got me i also like that it didn't seem like they're going to be focusing too much on nostalgia in this one this seems like a whole different story while the afterlife even though i liked it it seemed like it's really trying to get you on nostalgia more than anything you know bringing back past villains and other tropes from the original movies which understandably makes sense considering that this is the actual sequel to a 30 40 year old franchise or almost 40 year old franchise 30 30 something year old franchise what did you guys think let me know in the comments below and also if you have any uh requests that you want to do let me know in the comments below as well I right, thank you for watching this video. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.